Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the P. Louise base. I just got it not too long ago in the shade Rumor 2. And you know, this is pretty hyped on YouTube. Like, everybody is like, go out, get this base. It's the best thing. It'll change your life. So we're going to see if it is actually worth the hype. This is the first video of my YouTube Hyped It series where we take a look at products that have just been hyped throughout YouTube. So look out for those videos once a month. And yeah, without further ado, let's see if this is worth it. All right, guys, so I think I'm gonna use the P. Louise base on this side and the NYX concealer on this side. I decided to use the NYX concealer HD Studio Photogenic Concealer because it is the lightest one that I have and I wanted it to be like comparable. And also, I think this is like six or seven dollars at Ulta, at my Ulta, and this is 9.99 euros i believe so i felt like this would be drugstore in the uk and this is of course drugstore here so i just i don't know i assume that this would be drugstore prices so i was like why not compare it to a drugstore concealer so that's just what we're gonna do i'm gonna start off by putting a little bit in the center of my eye this again is the rumor 2 shade they didn't have the shade that I wanted in stock when I went to order it so I just went with this one I believe the rumor 2 is the OG color I'm not sure you can let me know down in the comments but yeah I can already see a color difference so on the NYX side, I'm going to be using this sparkly brush that I got from TJ Maxx. And on this side, I'm using the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. And I'm just going to blend the two out. I added a little more on this side because... That NYX concealer just blended right on out. It's definitely not as thick as the P. Louise base. And right away, I can tell that the color is probably going to have some effect because this is lighter and it's more opaque than my NYX concealer. Um... It wouldn't be shocking if this side is more pigmented just due to those facts alone. But I'll also be comparing how they blend out over the two so we still have some room to compare. I'm going to start with this dark purple right here and put that into the crease. Alright, so so far I can't really see much of a difference. I do know, notice the side that I put the NYX concealer is a little bit darker as far as it transformed it a little bit. But I think that's just because the um, concealer is darker than the P. Louise side. So I don't know, that color difference could be more so due to the shade and not necessarily to the formula. But this does look more true to color like it does in a palette, whereas this side is a little bit deeper, um, presumably because the concealer is deeper. So next, I think I'm going to go in with this bright pink shade right here, and I'm going to put that above where I put the purple. Honestly, at this moment, I'm not seeing really any difference in pigmentation or like blendability. 
I actually think my NYX side is looking a little bit more pigmented as far as the pink goes. Um, that's crazy. So next I'm going to dip into this yellow shade right here and I'm just going to finish off the um, brow bone with this. Alright, so what I'm going to do next is just work backwards. I'm going to add more pink and more purple and then I will come back to cut the crease. Alright, so we're looking hella extra right now. Might as well admit it. But I feel like this is like the proper way to test eyeshadow bases is with lots of color. I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease. I still don't know where I'm going with this look. <laughs> All right, I'm back and this is as even as I'm going to get it. It's hard working with two different formulas to cut crease because like one does something different than the other. So it makes the shapes change a little bit. But I noticed like almost immediately the thickness of this really did help um, cut creases better because it kind of stays in place. Whereas the NYX was kind of liquidy and it runs. So you got to be very precise and careful with the NYX more so than the P. Louise base. But it'll come out even once I work everything out. So what I'm going to do is take this blue shade right here. And I'm going to put that in the outer corners of where I cut the crease. The last thing I'm going to do is take this yellow shimmery shadow right here and put it down the center. Right, so I'm going to go pop on some mascara, lashes, and some eyeliner and I'll be right back with my final thoughts. So as you'll probably recall, this side was the side that I did with the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer and this was the um, P. Louise base in Ruma 2. I think this is 6.3, shade 6.3. I will link both of these down below just so you guys can check them out on your own. I definitely think this NYX concealer freaking surprised me. Like this performed exactly the same as the P. Louise base up until it was time to cut the crease. But y'all, the P. Louise base is definitely much better for cutting the crease. And I think that is because of the consistency. The P. Louise base is thicker and more opaque. So when you go to cut the crease, you can get more definition. And it covers up any shadow that was underneath where you cut the crease. Which I find to be very useful because it makes any shade that you put on top more true to color and just brighter so yeah my recommendations would be if you're not a cut crease type of chick then your regular concealer will probably do just about the same as this so it might be slightly overhyped in that manner but when it comes to cutting the crease girl and getting those pigments to show over the top and just to get that definite shape this is definitely way better so it just depends on what type of looks that you like to do so I don't know maybe maybe YouTube was right I just don't know <laughs> thanks guys so much for tuning into this video if you did like it make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from me make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell and with that I will see you guys in the next video